So I had this question from someone that wanted to know, if I gargle with salt water, will that kill the coronavirus? Well, let's talk about that. So first of all, I want to say that there's no studies that I found that demonstrate gargling with salt water will actually kill this virus, okay? However, that being said, there is some research that shows that gargling with salt water could potentially prevent certain viruses from going down into the lung. However, before we get into that, I do want to mention that there is some other research that shows that this coronavirus can replicate in your throat before moving into the lungs. So they found a high rate of replication and viral shedding during the first week. Viral shedding has to do with this. So when the virus goes in the cell and it starts to reproduce, and then it decides to leave your cell and go in somewhere else, whether it goes outside your body or in another organ, that's called viral shredding. And just the fact that you're gargling with salt or just with water, it would appear that you would dilute the concentration of viruses if there's viruses in there. I'm going to put all the studies that I found below down in the description. But this one was interesting because it was talking about the antiviral innate immune response using salt to support a certain chemical in your immune cells that potentially could kill the virus. Because if we just take salt, sodium chloride, okay? Now, there are certain enzymes in the inner skin barrier inside your body that can convert chloride into hypochlorous acid. Now, this acid is the main ingredient in bleach that is very antimicrobial. It's been known to kill viruses. And guess what? Certain immune cells like the phagocytes that eat up the virus and bacteria and fungus and dead cells in your body, they actually will pull in viruses and bacteria and expose those microbes to this acid. So they make and use bleach, hydrogen peroxide. They even make a certain type of antibiotic and they release enzymes to kill off these microbes. So let me just read this one little paragraph. It says, this mechanism is dependent on the conversion of available chloride ions, okay, that's in the salt, chloride, into hypochlorous acid mediated by peroxidase. That is the enzyme that will convert this to this. Since hypochlorous acid is the active ingredient in bleach, which has a broad antiviral range against DNA, comma, RNA, comma, enveloped and non-enveloped viruses, the antiviral mechanism should work against different types of viruses. So basically, you're giving the immune system the raw material to make its weapon, which one of the weapons is bleach, which is very toxic to us as well as microbes. Now, I want to mention some of the studies involving using salt water. So the first one involved 130 people. They gargled with just water, and that was efficient in preventing upper respiratory tract infections in healthy people. Next one was a Japanese study on 20,000 children. They found no outbreaks of influenza or fever infections during the process of this study. Now, in 2010, they found washing your throat with salt water could be considered the most effective measure for upper respiratory infection. In 2013, they did a study with 338 people using salt water, and they found people were less likely to get a upper respiratory tract infection. So this is how you do it. It's very, very simple. It's very inexpensive. Take a half a teaspoon of sea salt, okay? I would recommend the Himalayan sea salt, but I think any salt will do. And if you don't have sea salt, you can even use regular salt. And you dissolve it in eight ounces of warm water. And you gargle with that a few times a day. So in summary, I think it's a really good thing to do. It can't hurt. It's very inexpensive. Potentially, it could help you. Thanks for watching.